work on the fundraising and uh, this is something to be appreciated and we hope that you can reach uh, not only for the setup of a satellite office but even to get funds for the core uh, activities of uh, GOPAC. But I would like, Mr. Chair, if you allow me to ask our members around this table what possibly they can offer in an effort, what areas, I mean, or organizations, they could target if they could name some. Because we have to work together. And there is no time. It's only one quarter of a year. It will finish like this. So this is a serious matter. And I would like to see our board taking charge on it. Thank you. Uh, as an organization such as GoPack, uh, we have the potential to attract many interested funders that have uh, an interest in combating corruption. And the list is varied. We need to come up with that list of organizations, of countries that have uh, an intense uh, interest in corruption and have been developing programs over the years. Uh, the Americans are one of them with their uh, uh, Millennium Challenge uh, uh, program. Um, there's various others, so we need to come up with that. Call a, Indonesia's uh, being the chair, uh, call a, uh, a donors conference where we invite all these countries, uh, organizations that have money to, to provide uh, businesses uh, that have an interest in doing their social responsibility in this area to transparently uh, pledge and donate funds to GOPAC for the fight against global corruption. And that is um, linked, we should link that clearly to the SDG Goal 16 in order to be able to um, ensure that uh, globally uh, world leaders are world leaders are involved. Um, I think Indonesia also being a member of the G20, uh, there are a lot of work going on in the G20 area and G20 countries uh, could also be uh, uh, involved in this process. So uh, I'm happy to contribute to uh, assessment and strategy paper and uh, the uh, donor coordination as a board member. Thank you. Of course, I will do the fundraising in Indonesia and very, there's also possibility. I cannot promise, but I think it's a uh, very potential. Of course, uh, as long as as long as we have a very good proposal that I haven't seen, uh, maybe later on I can get the presentation. Uh, and I believe uh, it can also work. Uh, I mean, I can convince the government and my parliament. I think this is the way also to do it. Yeah. Uh, Maybe any, anyone else would like to comment on this? I think so far, if I may conclude, we have to explore all the possibilities from our political connections in the board and executive board. And then uh, maybe from my side, I would like to fundraise in Indonesia first, and Kuwait, I think that's two, and John, maybe from Washington. Maybe any other member of the executive would like also to share the thought and maybe also some uh, possibility of fundraising in their own region or in their own country. We are through the Secretariat continuing to explore the United Nations link, so obviously at a regional level I'm achieving funding with our region but we're also uh, UNDP, UNODC, with uh, GOPAC's presence at the uh, Conference of State Parties for UNCAC in Russia in December. So at the moment it's only funding for Oceania, but we were able to make the deadline so as GOPAC will be there and able to set up any meetings with uh, other funders and, and donors that are at that important meeting. So I'm happy, and with the Secretariat, we've also engaged with uh, the UNDP governance program in New York about getting, we have very good regional programs, parts of uh, Eastern and Central Europe, Oceania, parts of Africa, the UNDP are funding our chapters and our regions there. 
and a cash and the team have worked strongly on trying to get a global funding commitment from UNDP. So I'm happy to keep liaising with the Secretariat on uh, the, the United Nations relations. Thank you, Jan. All right. I can work with the Canadian Embassy here and find out which Canadian companies are represented here in Indonesia and maybe try to work some of those channels to uh, see if we can't get them engaged at that. One of the constraints for Canadian companies what they, is that they, they couldn't get a tax deduction in Canada, but they're, if they have wholly owned subsidiaries or their companies in Indonesia, they can get some tax benefits from making donations. Uh, I can, I'm happy to work that angle. Then, uh, if the board agree, maybe we have to have like a small team for the fundraising. If as you also suggested, that's uh, Dr. Basser, John, myself, and uh, maybe uh, John Williams. Yeah, I think, I think we already have it set up through Roy, so right. if, if you as chair liaise with, with Roy and then bring in other people. So these are executive uh, uh, committee responsibilities and then you can co-opt other members of the board as you see fit. So I think in terms of the delineation of labour, right. your fundraising is your area to, okay. to head. To head. Okay. So I'll work with you. we will work together then, yeah. But uh, we have noted uh, some ideas and also uh, certain targeted countries maybe and also governments and uh, we have to work closely, uh, maybe through uh, Skype or through uh, the communication yeah, and uh, teleconference uh, as soon as possible. As long as, uh, because we need to inform all the package, the proposals and all the uh, presentation that we need to convince to our potential donors. And I think we, we need that uh, as soon as possible. Maybe every one month? Okay. So we all have three months now. Yes, yes. yeah. <laughs> Maybe no uh, next one. Next one month, uh, we need to have a report from each of us uh, regarding our effort uh, together to fundraise. Uh, yeah, that will be the uh, decision that we make. Full board? Yes. Full board. Full board. Yep, so the, this is an executive committee meeting. So the decision of the executive committee is that we will be asking the board members to do this, of which the executive already right. So thank you very much. I think uh, we close this meeting and we can go to the plenary. Thank you very much for our contribution. And I think uh, we will uh, have the minutes of meeting and distribute it to all the members and uh, to be